very good morning dear students so the next topic mentioned in your syllabus structure of glucose and other important monosaccharides the previous class we have discussed the overview of monosaccharides and the major properties such as stereoisomerism and optical isomerism and in this particular class we are going to discuss the most important uh, monosaccharide is known as uh, glucose okay so and their structure and the other important uh, monosaccharides so coming to the introduction of glucose as you all know it is a simple sugar with the molecular formula C6H12O6 and this is the most abundant monosaccharide that is found in the universe and it is the most important and primary source of energy in all the organisms such as plants, animals and uh, microorganisms and in the case of plant and some photosynthetic algae the main process of uh, producing the utilization of carbohydrate that is photosynthesis from water and carbon dioxide using energy from sunlight where it is used to make a cellulose in the cell walls okay? yeah. and uh, glucose is stored in the organism as long storage polysaccharide polymer and in the case of a plant there are a, I mean the glucose monomers are the glucose derivatives are present in the form of a, a polymer such as starch and uh, which is consisting of amylose and uh, amylopectin but in the case of animal it is stored in the form of glycogen and in the case of uh, hum in the case of organism animal this glucose circulates in the blood of animal as blood sugar okay the naturally occurring form of glucose is d glucose okay the naturally occurring form of glucose is a d glucose and l glucose is also produced but it is produced synthetically and it is of lesser importance in the biochemistry and then coming to the structure of glucose so glucose is a monosaccharide as we have seen it consisting of six carbon atom and an aldehyde group hence it is known as the presence of aldehyde group it is uh, it is there thus the word aldo and it is a six carbon compound that is hexose so that is an example of aldo hexose so glucose is otherwise known as aldo hexose and this glucose in the molecule can exist in an open chain form that is known as a cyclic form and the ring form or a cyclic form generally the structure of glucose the molecular formula it is c6h12o6 and uh, it can be represented by in a simple way by fitting Bayer's formula and uh, Fisher projection formula. And the Fisher projection formula is the well accepted uh, notation for the structure of glucose. And C6H12O6, this is the molecular formula of glucose. And the fitting Bayer's formula, that is the aldehyde, okay, that is the CHO then CHOH four times then CH2OH so carbon number one carbon number four carbon plus one five and six okay so this is known as fitting by our formula and this is an enlarged projection formula so CHO uh, H and OH the second position OH and H third one H and OH and H and OH and CH2OH so this is the structure of a glucose okay so uh, this glucose uh, uh, the fisher protection formula is widely accepted and uh, the aldehyde or ketone group of a sugar can react with the hydroxyl group of alcohol forming a hemiacetyl or hemi k 
ketide okay the aldehyde or ketone group of the sugar that will be reacted with the hydroxyl group of alcohol and which forms the hemiacetyl or hemi ketyl group okay and the angle of the tetrahedron carbon atom tend to bend the glucose molecule forming the ring there is a bending of the glucose molecule will takes place and it form a ring structure and the aldehyde group and the alcohol group that is the hydroxyl group of a carbon 5 or carbon 4 readily approaches each other forming the intermolecular hemiacetyl okay the aldehyde and alcohol of carbon number 5 and carbon number 4 readily approach each other and produces the intramolecular hemiacetyls okay similarly uh, the keto group of a ketose can also approach with the alcohol, uh, alcohol group or hydroxyl group uh, either by a 5 carbon or 4 carbon I mean uh, atom and that forms a, a chemi ketyl okay if the interaction with the ketone then it is hemi ketyl and the interaction with the aldose then it is a hemi acetyl then the formation of either a six membered ring that is known as a pyranose ring okay the case of a six membered closed ring system that is produced by the glucose structure is known as pyranose form and uh, it is the ketone aspect that will be producing a five membered uh, heterocyclic ring that is known as a furanose form okay the glucose molecule can give uh, two types of form one is a uh, a pyranose form and a next one is furanose form so this is what i have told so this i told actually the carbon number one the aldehyde okay that is hydro oxygen and the this is h okay and this hoh hoh c oh h and here h ch2 okay and the fifth position there is a I mean hydroxyl group okay and this hydroxyl group will be interacted with the the oxygen that is present in the first carbon atom then there is the closed ring system okay here you can see this I have written like this okay same thing and HOH and here it is H and this what will happen here it will be the hydrogen will be going here and the oxygen and the carbon will form a bond here okay so then here it will be oh so the bond will be break broken and h will be given to this one and the hydroxyl group so this is the closed ring system okay and the the pyranose form of the sugar are more stable than the furanose form of the uh, sugar okay the furanose forms are less stable than the pyranose form okay and this that is known as pyran and the pyranose form is known as a pyran furanose form is known as a furan okay so here this is the pyran form okay the ring system ch ch ch2 ch2 or under common sharing of oxygen or this one you can write it one two three four five then the sharing of carbon okay this is pyran and the same thing you can see ch 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 ch2 then uh, you will be having like this and this is the this other uh, the other way we can write uh, this is the uh, com structure okay this is a uh, uh, oxygen can be commonly shared and can be a five membered ring so that is the furan form okay so the parent compound of furanose and here the parent compound of pyranose okay and we have discussed yesterday the diastereoisomers and uh, and these are i mean di diastereoisomers other than enantiomers they form uh, a D glucose which are not the mirror images of the beta form alpha form of D glucose is not a mirror image of the beta form of D glucose okay so so diastereoisomers they are different in their configuration only around the hemiacetyl or a anomeric carbon atom is known as a I mean anomers yesterday we have discussed if the molecules are differ only in the uh, I mean, the molecules are different in the uh, isomer uh, in the uh, uh, main carbon atom other than the carbonyl carbon are known as a epimers okay similarly with the diastereo isomers they are differ their configuration only around the hemiacetyl or a anomeric carbon atom is known as a anomers okay and uh, 
so this is the alpha and beta form of d glucose in both the pyranose and furanose ring along with the open and the uh, uh, open chain formula okay so here you can see the alpha d glucopyranose size okay and uh, here also alpha d glucopyranose and uh, here it will be converted into aldo d glucose and alpha d glucopyranose okay and here you can see beta d glucofuranose and uh, this is beta d glucopyranose okay so this will be like this and uh, this will be like this so this is the a uh, formation of this d glucose in the solution commonly in the aqueous solution and uh, in addition to uh, these two uh, the fitting bias formula and fisher projecting formula the well studied formula is known as a haworth perspective formula so there is a great scientist a great uh, biologist known as haworth 1929 he represented uh, the structure by resembling the hexagon okay that is a pyranose form or a pentagon that is a pyranose furanose uh, uh, form okay so then in this case the approximate plane of the ring is perpendicular to the plane of the paper okay the pl plane of the ring is perpendicular to the plane of the paper with the heavy lines on the ring projecting towards the uh, readers okay and uh, this projection formula are known, known as uh, the Howard's project projection formula are known as the chair structure of glucose and uh, the other hexosities existing so the same formula you can see carbon hoh here it is h ch2oh and o okay then it is a uh, coh h then a uh, choh then oh h so these are the uh, important uh, major uh, uh, main structure so this is known as a chair conformation then the fisher formula may be converted into a howard formula by twisting its round uh, in the constructive model so the mode of conversion of two hexo sugar from the fisher projection formula to howard projection formula are given here so this is the alpha d glucopyranoside so this is the i mean fisher's formula okay fisher's formula and the same thing is converted into i mean six membered ring so this is alpha d glucopyranose okay so i mean where you can see the hydroxyl group is in the right side but in the case of beta this is in the left side okay so this alpha d glucopyranose this is this one and the beta d just opposite arrangement okay here it is h h o h here it is o h h okay and just opposite i uh, mean the arrangement so this that is the uh, Howard projection formula and due to this Howard perspective the structure of the glucose can be exist in the both the form one is chair form another one is boat form okay so here the pyranose ring adopt the chair and the boat conformation okay so in the case of chair and boat conformation substituents of the the attachment on the uh, ring carbon atom have two orientation axial and uh, equatorial okay this is the axial and this is the equatorial okay so in the case of axial bonds are perpendicular to the the average plane of ring whereas the equatorial bonds are uh, parallel okay this is this equatorial will go like this axial will uh, come like this okay and uh, due to this particular structure the chair form of the beta d glucopyranose predominant because the axial position of the hydrogen atom so here you can see the boat form okay when you are accepting a boat form okay here you can see this is axis okay a e this is the uh, the form like this and here you can see once this is uh, just this one to downward direction okay so that is one of the chair form this is the boat form this is the chair form this is the general thing but in the case of the structure of glucose h o h h o h CH2OH and H and here you can see this axis okay so this is the structure this is this alpha d glucopyranose or a chair conformation okay so uh, when you look this two structure both the chair and uh, I mean uh, board conformation chair conformations are the most stable than board conformation because the, the hydroxyl groups are in the maximum far distance okay and they are uh, having very less uh, 
interaction okay and the case of both there are uh, there are possibility that they will be having the interaction and the stability of the compounds will be will, will be questionable okay and uh, this five membered furanose ring uh, their pyranose rings are not planar and uh, the same this is the structure of glucose and the, this same can be mentioned in the case of furanose ring also and there will be something called a puckering okay they can be puckered so that the four atoms are nearly a uh, coplanar and the fifth one is about uh, approximately point uh, of five i mean angstrom away from this plane okay and this conformation is known as envelope because the structure resembles to see that an open envelope okay an open envelope with a back flap rise this is the back flap it is a rise this is an envelope so back flap is a rise like structure and the furanose rings are more flexible than pyranose ring okay so rather than this one the furanose form is more flexible than pyranose ring then that is why in the case of dna and rna this type of uh, uh, ring systems are uh, commonly preferable here you can see the h and oh okay this is carbon number one h oh then carbon number two h oh then carbon number three h oh carbon number four okay then H O H. Then the fourth one you will be having the atom. Then C H two O H. So this is the a uh, five membered ring. So this can be main uh, main exist in the form of a uh, ring uh, uh, system. Okay, ring system and open opened envelope structure. It can be mm, resembled. So this is the structure and uh, uh, and this is very very important. The chair and boat form uh, of the glucose. The chair will be having the much more uh, I mean. Uh, stability than the boat uh, form but in the case of uh, in the case of uh, a furanose ring so this the open envelope structure is the common structure that is the uh, more flexible than a pyranose ring this it is commonly present in the dna or a rna so these are the main common glucose derivatives important in biochemistry okay this is the glucose family this is the simplest glucose structure okay the so beta d glucose and the beta d glucose 6 phosphate okay this is one of the important component in the glycolysis and uh, here you can see other structures like a uh, beta d glucose amine okay and these are known as amino sugars okay beta d glucose sugar n acetyl beta d glucose amine muramic acid n acetyl muramic acid all these components are a molecular conjugate okay the carbohydrates are interacted with an amino uh, an, uh, an amino acid and all these components are commonly present in the the outer membrane or plasma membrane of the uh, the cell wall of the bacteria the outer membrane of the bacterial cell wall okay and the amino sugars such as beta d galactosamine and beta d manosamine okay this one also it's an amino sugar in addition to this one deoxy sugars are also there beta l fucose and uh, alpha l ramnose okay you can see there is a methyl group okay instead of a ch2 oh okay here it is an amino group okay and uh, the next one is acidic sugars okay they'll be having acidic property beta d glucro glucuronate uronate okay d glucuronate okay and uh, d glucano alpha lactone so along with this one you will be having n acetyl muramic acid or a uh, uh, silic acid okay this is an example of a uh, main no, uh, I mean acidic sugar okay so these are the the structure of major hexose derivatives that is commonly present in the in the living uh, system and that is a uh, very much important in the biological system also okay so with this we will conclude dear students okay so today we have discussed about the glucose the basic aspects of glucose and the structure of glucose okay what is the importance of structure the furanose form and pyranose form that is very very important the forms of the glucose in an aqueous solution how it is happening and uh, they are having three important uh, uh, structures main bayes fitter structure how i mean a uh, fisher structure and uh, the most important thing how or the perspective a uh, uh, formula there you will be having two types of conformation the chair, chair and a uh, boat uh, conformation chair conformations are main uh, highly stable in the case of uh, 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 glucose okay uh, pyranose ring but in the case of furanose ring that will be uh, more uh, the enveloped structures are available okay so and the furanose rings are the more uh, stable 
and flexible, not stable, flexible than the pyranose ring. That is why all these components are commonly seen in the DNA and the RNA. Then we have discussed the hexose derivative that is very much important in the biochemistry. Okay. Various examples we have discussed like this. Okay. So there are amino sugars, deoxy sugars, the acidic sugars. Okay. So these are in addition to this one, you are having the common glucose family as well. Okay. It's all about the, I mean, uh, 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 classes and these are the text and reference books okay these are the textbook especially principles of biochemistry by Leninger you can learn okay or so many reference books are also there okay thank you for watching this particular class uh, I hope you understood if you are having any clarification you can uh, ask me okay so have a great day